So we're talking about some um, tray at the moment. And this is one of the trays that have been used on this job. That's 150 mil tray. Um, the depth, I'm not sure, I'll have to check that up. And the other tray we're using on the, this site is the 300 mil. So we've just got two different tray sizes. Now when joining tray, you need some joiners. And obviously you'll need your galvanized bolts. And I don't know if you can see, if you can zoom in on that, these bolts on the underside have a square section that lock into the square section there. So you can, so they lock in. And then you put the nut on the other side. Same situation, there's two of them stuck together actually. Can't get them, can't get them apart. That's for when you're doing risers, so lots of small little joins, when you're maybe going over some steps, etc. So it's the same principle as that. And for more on our on cable tray, you can look at one of our cable tray presentations. So this is the, the lid. Um, it's a one particular kind of lid that sits on top of the tray, covering the cables. Where it's cut, it's a good idea to spray some zinc or gal spray here. And then it's affixed with a galvanized hex head at certain intervals, depending on the design. Some trays actually have a peak, so they have actually have a profile more like a roof, and in those situations there's more airflow and more area, uh, hence less heating of the cable. Um, but it all comes down to the design, how many cables are going in the tray, how close they are together, and what sort of currents they're carrying. So this is the earth lug that goes into the tray uh, where the earthing is connected. And you can see that earth would go in here and it's, and it's crimped down. So effectively we have an earth point here. We're using an earth lug um, that basically bolts on to the cable tray. And you can see here that we have um, an earth coming from this direction and an earth coming from this direction and they've been twisted together and placed in that one lug and gal met sprayed so obviously you don't want corrosion you want to maintain earth at all costs and so they've sprayed a galvanizing spray to stop the, uh, the copper corroding. 